Hello again, everybody. Well, today we are down here off of Mountain Creek Road in Chattanooga because of a link that may have linked up with the Kings Point Cemetery. Say hello to the Sively Cemetery. I think that's the correct way to pronounce it this time. And you remember they called it the Sively Cemetery over at the other location. I don't know if this is another branch of the Sively family or if this is completely separate. Anyway, guys, let's go in here and take a look, shall we? So I do not know a lot about this cemetery. If anybody knows, you can comment in the comments below, but there have been people buried here for quite a while, and the last person that I know of that was buried here was buried here in the 70s. And this is kept up pretty nicely. I mean, as you can see, I mean, the pollution's definitely gotten to a few, and it's not a huge cemetery. Godsey, Skinner, Mitchell. Some interesting headstones. And as you can see, the lambs, so we have children again, and even though these carvings are very faint, some of these carvings are pretty pretty amazing. This is 1907. And some of these are so old that all you have is a stone marking things. It looks like 1890. So, like I said, um, has been some of these have been here quite a while. Definitely see. Oh, so some of these are concrete. Ada Brown, 1946. Always it's interesting to see when somebody does one by hand because they can't afford to get a nice headstone on their own. That is definitely a lot of the older ones. They have just gotten to stone. Where? Uh, this one. Huh. There's Tennessee. Something. I can't read it. There's too much pollution on it. But somebody has definitely been in here and kept things. There's a lot of Roberts in here. Foils. Some of these are up under trees, so they have really gotten, really gotten heaten up. Boils. This is very, well, here's the, here we get into some of the Sylvies, so, Sively. Sorry, not Sylvie. Some of these are very, very, very white. Oh, we'll get back to him in a minute. That looks like a Freemason. Some of these look like somebody has come in and done some repairs and at least tried to keep. Wow, look at how that stone's really just etched away. And somebody's come in here and I hope they're not using bleach, but they've definitely been using something to infant. Something power. Bower? Power? I can't tell.
And I, like I said, I don't think anybody's been buried in here since the 70s. Looks like, huh? actually, it may be a bigger cemetery than I first thought. There's another batch of them underneath this giant magnolia. We're in the Sively section. Very interesting. Like I said, these are very, very clean, so somebody has been in here to clean up at least some of them. No, I don't know if that's the footstone. It looks like it's either sinking in or been moved. And you can see some of these are missing very, very large chunks. And somebody's left some flowers out here. So people are still coming out here. God see. People are still coming out here. 1884, 1888. And there's definitely some headstones that have been repaired. So that's a good thing to see. Hmm. More just basic stones. I am glad to see that somebody is coming in and repairing the old headstones Reeves Simpson and you can tell this place has been here for a while because these trees are truly massive interesting to see the mix of really old stone stones versus the actual carved ones tittle wow some of these are very very old looks like there's another entrance down there I don't know what the original entrance would have been. We are off of the circle drive that's right there by the W Road, where it comes down off of Signal Mountain Road. That is very interesting. And like with older cemeteries, I see no stones, but there are definitely dips in the ground. So, I don't know who those folks may be, but there are definitely no stones. Well, it's been here so long it's broken. Harrison Bowling. And you can see some down off to the side. I haven't seen one from the 1970s, but that does not necessarily mean anything. There's some more, and you can see that I think the woods are starting to reclaim the cemetery. Darlene Graham. Downey. 
Huh. There's definitely some incredibly old ones up underneath this gigantic magnolia that has definitely been here for quite a while. It looks so worn. I doubt we'd be able to tell. Dangle. I don't know if these have been moved over to the side or if they were just dug and placed over here. Well, anyway, folks, that was a quick look at the Sibley Cemetery. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'm off to go on some more journeys. Until then, why don't you go on a journey of your own? We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.